everybody, welcome to another match day vlog on my channel. Today we host Aston Villa, and this could be a huge game really in terms of where we could finish the season. It's a vital game. Obviously, Aston Villa are doing really, really well at the moment. We've got to, got together a really good winning run. We're winning plenty of games as well. Obviously, culminating in their win against Birmingham over the weekend. So they're playing with some really good stuff at the moment. Playing with very good confidence. And it's going to be a major test today to see how we do get on. We've obviously got a very good home record. I'm beating, I think, six straight home league wins since what, the turn of the year as well. So we're doing quite well in terms of our home form. But it'll be a big test against Aston Villa side who have got a very good knack of winning, especially over the last couple of months. They've, they've gathered up some good momentum which has taken them into from about outside the player places into the automatic promotion places. So it's interesting to see how they get on today. And how, most importantly, how we fed. So it's a huge game for us. If we don't win it, I'd like to get a draw at least. But I do fancy us to win the game, hopefully. It'll be interesting to see how we do. And if we don't win, our next couple of games could determine where we could finish as well. Obviously, the teams below us in the, in the playoffs will be snapping at our heels. So, fingers crossed we can get a positive result like last season's 3-1 win. Hopefully, we can keep the momentum going, finish, finish start with, you know, get into a good playoff place as well, keep the momentum going, and yeah, see how we get on. Time to go to the
Nice. Come on, Frederick. Come on, Ryan. Game. What a game that was. Oh my god. Second half was wonderful. Great finish from Sessimon to make it 1 0. Played quite well second half. And then Aite, nothing more needs to be said about that goal. Probably goal of the season contender thanks to a Sam Johnston mistake. And then straight off that, we probably could have had two or three goals. We looked quite sharp on the attack. We did put Villa to Saul. And I think they were probably quite overwhelmed and mesmerised as to just how good we probably were in terms of the way we built on that second goal. We probably could have had three or four at the end of the day. We made a couple of big chances that we missed. And we could probably make Aston Villa puni punish Aston Villa more for some of the... They're probably below par performance. Obviously, they've missed a lot of Jack Grealish and Albert Adoma, both are injured. It's probably two of their main creative, creative players. And then when you do miss the two main creative players, as we've seen with Kearney and that, it does take its toll and it does limit you to what you can do on the pitch, and especially in terms of them type of players are the players who probably pop up in the end, last minute and that get you win a point. Difference between a loss and a draw and a win and a defeat as well. So... Well, I'm sure they've still been in around that top six come May. They're a good side, they've got plenty of quality, but just come up against a side who are informed, probably with the better team on the day. But if you like it, hit the like button, subscribe as well. Bye-bye.